Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, being to Deja Monique Cruz about Christmas with you, premiere worldwide on Netflix November 17th. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. This is exciting. Is it starting to kind of hit you that the movie is going to be coming out soon? I mean, you work on this, you hear about the announced <laughs> dates, and people are going to finally see what you've been working on. Oh, yes. My dad won't stop playing the trailer, and I love it. And it's just <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this is, it's happening. Like, I, I wake up every day, like, it's happening. It's happening. What is happening? <laughs> and the people that see the trailer, the people that see the trailer, it's like, wait till you see the whole movie, right? <laughs> I know. And everyone's like, oh, we watched it. Like, we were so old. I'm like, no, 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 there's more coming. There's more coming. <laughs> Deja, one of my favorite things about this movie is I feel like there's a, per in terms of like the content of what we see in the film, I feel like there's a perfect blend of like the Christmas holiday spirit magic and the music kind of component of things. Do you yeah. notice that blend and that mix, that kind of tag team when you're reading the script of like the Christmas holiday and the music? Do you notice that mix? Uh, that mix? Absolutely. You just, you you honestly feel it when you're watching the movie and the little music's playing in the background or the, or they're can't, like, we're already dancing around. Like there can't be no Christmas without you. Like we're already dancing around in the trailer. So what makes you think we won't be dancing around in the movie? <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of characters in this movie, including your character, you're all figuring a lot of things out. You're all doing a lot of self-reflection, soul searching during the pandemic, Deja, we've all been doing a lot of, self-reflection and soul searching so i feel like this movie instantly becomes more relatable to the audience do you think about that stuff at all yes 100 percent. and i was actually just thinking about that this morning and i realized that like a lot of the pandemic i was working and i was like so blessed to be working because not a lot of people were but i feel like in a pandemic for us to create something like this, that's special because it means we had trials and tribulations, but we made it work and the producers put their mind to it. They made it work. And here we are now. It's about to release on Netflix November 17th. Worldwide. And so many people are going to be able to see it. And it's going to be crazy because it's going to be quick, right? Yeah. The, the thing about Netflix that I love the most and it's crazy, is the worldwide component because it will drop across all these different time zones. Yes, everybody so in the world <laughs> everybody in the world will be able to watch it. And if you don't have family near you during Christmas, you can spend Christmas with us. <laughs> yeah, but depending on which time zone you are, you know, you might wake up and then there's many people that have already have seen it. And <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even think of that. That is crazy. Yes. Oh, wow. It's, it's so crazy. And, you know, we love the holiday Christmas movies and everything. For you kind of growing up, what were kind of your go-to kind of films or like pop culture music kind of holiday traditions that that kind of were like some that your character kind of has in this film? What was it for you growing up? So definitely Mariah Carey's I Don't Wanna Laugh. <laughs> That one for sure. Um, we're always watching Christmas movies. My favorite Christmas movie is Snow Globe on Disney+. Plus. I love it. It's so cute. She wants this perfect little world in the snow globe when she goes into it. It's cute. Um, but the, the, the classics, the Christmas story, Elf, the Grinch, like everything. We watch everything. <laughs> I really love the Christmas Chronicle movies on Netflix. Those are great. I was just watching those the other day with my little sister. They're so interesting. They're and like they're also like a warm. They're like a warm hug. Yes, and there's <laughs> even music in the in the end of one of them. Either the first one or the second one. There's music where he's dancing in the jail cell, and it's like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. There's, yeah, no, it's it's so great with this character. What like how much do you? I, I guess it depends on different projects, but like how much do you know when you're cast about this character? Like, what's the mindset preparation specifically for this project? So basically, what they told me was that Christina is dealing with uh, the loss of her mom, and yeah. that she has a dad who's a music teacher. That brought that brought me to my ears because I was like, oh my god, music! I love music. She's dealing with a quinceanera. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted a quinceanera. And she's a fan of a pop star. I was like, I'm a fan of a lot of pop stars. <laughs> so it really worked out. Um, and preparing for it, I just watched a bunch of Christmas movies and got in the holiday spirit. In terms of music being 
a tool of healing and making things better. How important was that message and aspect in this film for you and the whole cast specifically when you're reading it? So this film goes so much deeper than just music and being on Netflix. It yes. is truly the song that we wrote is actually, this whole movie is actually a tribute to our producer's mom who, yes. um, who, who's no longer with us, but we are here like tributing her. And so when I sing Christmas with you and that song, it really, it's special to Christina because she's just lost her mom, but it's also special to us because of what it means. And it could mean that for anybody. When I'm with you, I feel like myself, I'm at home here. Like, it's just, it's so special. It's so beautiful. And I'm glad that we're able to really bring this tribute alive. And I hope everybody loves it as much as we do. I know, absolutely. So well said. And there are definitely those moments in this film that really hit very hard. And I feel like that's the content we need right now, if you know what I mean by that. We need hugs. Lots of hugs. <laughs> this that's movie great. is a hug. This is a warm hug. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Were you hoping that you were going to be able to to do a movie where like you're acting, there's music involved that you can kind of do a lot of things or did that kind of just happen for you specifically? Yes. Ever since High School Musical came out, I've always <laughs> wanted to be singing, dancing. Also, Victorious on Nickelodeon really got me into the groove of like, yeah, like let's sing and dance <laughs> on film and also um, being involved in a Christmas movie, it has been a dream to be involved in a Christmas movie. My dad makes us watch Christmas movies all the time, like July. It starts in July. <laughs> like So for me, I think this is really special to me, too, because it's a father-daughter relationship and Christmas. So this is, it's special for me to be, be able to bring this to my dad as well. Yes. So, dad, look, like. I did it. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, it's interesting you mentioned the singing, the dance, and the acting, because like Deja Monique Cruz is a storyteller. Like, that's what you do. You are a storyteller. Yes. Do you, like, it makes you more well rounded that you're able to do a bunch of different storytelling, too, right? It's super exciting to be able to, um, yeah, I've done a bunch of different stuff, like in Crossover that's coming out, I'm an inspirational best friend. In the adventure movie that's coming out, I'm the one that's like, I got the book, let's go here, let's find this. And then this one, I'm just kind of like, Christina's like that light and energy that like everything that's going around in Christmas with you, she comes up and it's like, oh, everything's okay again, mm -hmm. in a way. <laughs> and she's very, like, she, she has a lot of, like relate like she has a lot of discussions with you know her dad and she has a lot of discussions with a um amy garcia's character who does such an amazing job i mean what are those conversations like specifically with amy and freddie knowing that your character is going to have a lot of different moments specific with them with both of them like there's a lot of like you know interacting with both those characters Yes, absolutely. So I think the conversation with her dad of like coming of age and getting ready for the quinceanera with her tias and everything. I think that's so special because it's so relatable to Latinas out there who have been through this and also have a single dad and have tried to put uh, those dads who have tried to put a quinceanera together for the the daughters that have lost their moms and things like that. Also, uh, the talks with Angelina and Christina are so special because Angelina is letting Christina know she's not alone and she's yes. there for her. And I think that's just so special. Even the there's a bedroom scene where they're talking and it's just so sweet. And I hope you guys feel it as much as we did. What was it like filming this movie? What can you tell me specifically about actually like getting into kind of the small town kind of mentality feel of everything? Like what was it like filming this movie? It was really interesting because you are like in a small town in the movie, but we're also in big New York. So it's like, <laughs> it's like you kind of have to like bring your snow globe together and like, okay, this is what we're doing now. And it was so funny because you would like walk out of the house with decorations and everything. And it would just be like a dark street of fall. Mm. And like the house is lit up with Christmas lights and everything. And then there's dark street. <laughs> and then it would be like, us filming in the house and it's like oh it's christmas music is going and then uh like a fire truck's going <laughs> like you know it's just very interesting no it is very interesting as as well 
in terms of your character, was it really cool to see the growth of this character in between scenes? Like, I hope you understand what I mean by that. Like, there's like the whole movie, right? And at the end of the movie, you're like, wow, like there's a lot of growth and self-reflection done. But like, there's like a few scenes. Like, I'm talking like seven, eight minutes in the movie where there's like, it's pretty quick, the growth of your character. Do you know what I mean by that? Yes, absolutely. So she, I love the growth of Christina because she starts out as like this girl who's like, you know, really sad. Like she she lost her mom. And then yes. it kind of goes into this, like, you know what? Life could get better. It's okay. She's there for what I love about Christina. She's there for her dad. Yes. And she knows it and she wants to be there for her dad. And a lot of uh, people who have lost their loved one, they don't want to go back into another relationship. Well, and a lot of kids are like, oh yeah, you shouldn't be in another relationship, but this is different. Christina's mm. like, no dad, like, it's okay. You know, make, make it happen. You know? <laughs> so but, I think it's really cool. But you know what I mean though, about the growth, like one conversation with her dad and you see the growth within the next scene. Like, you know what I mean by that, right? Yes, absolutely. She's, she's moving fast. She's making it happen. She's making everything. I, I feel like she's a light in it as well and she's kind of bringing that light to her dad as well absolutely something i've been doing recently with a lot of my interviews i mean this is an amazing film this film looks so good we have to give a shout out to the crew deja can we give yes. a shout out to the crew, oh my God, shout out to my amazing crew dancers producers writers music uh producers everybody thank you thank you we can't it takes a village we couldn't do this without you and just know thank you like hair makeup wardrobe i could go on grip camera crew everybody thank you thank you thank you for all your hard work in new york and all those long days in new york and being cold or warm and keeping us up and keeping our spirits up as well so thank you thank you thank you i love you guys and you know that and you know we can't <laughs> all wait to see this they know i love them <laughs> absolutely thank, Deja, you. thank you so much for coming on pop turn it was so great chatting with you yes it's been amazing thank you so much pd the film's coming out November 17th worldwide on Netflix, Christmas with you. Um, yes. You have an Instagram, right? Where people keep up to date with everything. I do. They can follow me on Instagram, Deja Monique Cruz, D-E-J-A-M-O-N-I-Q-U-E-C-R-U-Z. Amazing. Well, this has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. You're going to be able to catch Deja Moni Cruz in Christmas with you, streaming worldwide on Netflix November 17th. Until next time, this is Deja Moni Cruz and PD Beats signing off. Happy holidays. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.